All right, guys, what's going on? All right, so we have a package there. I ordered from Amazon once again. They sent it postal service, which drives me nuts. But it did make it here. So it is what it is. Open it from the bottom because I can't show my address. Even though I get weirdos that look up my call sign and then tell me my address. Alright. So this is much smaller than I thought it would be. This is uh, the VFO. And we're going to use this. Wow, that's so cute. Um, oh, this is the new version. Cool. The QC tag is on the corner there, blocking the screw. Probably they want it to be tamper proof. Yeah, USB C charge button on and off. Wow. Look at that. First frequency we come to is three six four point five. I don't know how well you guys can see this thing. This is pretty cool. So what this is going to do is it's going to generate a frequency for us to slip into one of the CB radios and insert into where the crystal is. Okay. And the reason that we want to do that is because I have a 23 channel single sideband radio and I can't do anything with it because nobody talks on sideband below like maybe channel 35 maybe. So I expected this thing to be about, about the size of the box itself actually. Um, this is actually small enough we could put this display behind a radio. Wow. Um, the camera's all jacked up. So, this would definitely fit inside of a radio. And so, I hope Kevin's paying attention because this might be something worthwhile for you. You could definitely fit that display behind here. I'm sure it's kind of like one of the ones that's on the um, Pi Stars. Um, so it also comes with a USB cable. Uh, hopefully it's a data cable. And then we have a, an adapter here. These are all like absolutely sealed. Which is kind of neat. There's nothing else. Um, I didn't see any instructions. Um, so somebody told me to look up something called Caesar Sound, and uh, that's where you can find information about this. But um, yeah, so let's see here. We got a band button, general medium wave 82 meters 60 48 41 29 so we should be able to put out a signal and hook it up to a frequency counter and check to see like if that's where it is I've got to go fix the printer, I think. I heard something snap. I've got my, my printer. 
up here printing on the screen. I'm actually watching it, so I guess we're good. Um, anyway, um, I don't know what the difference between this one and the other one is. Um, the knob has a push button function and you can just change it and it will move. I don't know what the TRX and RX do. It's obviously not an SDR QRP ham radio transceiver, but um, it's a VFO. I just don't know why they call it that, but. Um, so the back is the metal plate, and like I was saying before I bought it, I said the front is going to be a circuit board, and it sure is. This is their favorite thing to do now, which I wish they wouldn't do, because he totally could have just made a metal plate for the front, and it would have looked a million times better. They even countersunk the screws on the back. So why couldn't they have done that for the front? I'd pay an extra whatever to have an actual legit metal front faceplate. Everything else looks nice. So what the hell?